Hi, I'm Fox. Couch Guy. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show. And today we have an awesome show for you. It's a great show. I'm it's, excited. We're, 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 we do the impossible here. And today we're running Flash on an iPad. Steve Jobs said no. We say yes. Yeah. Uh, we didn't actually do the hack, but we're going to show you how to do the hack yourself on your iPad. It's really easy. It's, it's still in beta. Or not even beta. In fact, I'm not even sure the guy wanted it released yet. <laughs> It's still a little <laughs> clunky, needs to have a little bit of polish, but, but it's working. But you can watch Strong Bad. Show Strong Bad. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Oops. Way to oh, kill it. Oh, now you broke it. Oh, man. But I've gone and done. <laughs> it's loading. It's loading. Oh, loading. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so you can zoom in and zoom out, and it runs just like any other content on um, the iPad. Awesome. Um, some notes. First of all, uh, you need to have an iPad that's been jailbroken because this is not going to be in the App Store because they're, <laughs> um, they're not going to prove it. It's amazing when you know, Steve Jobs puts out a massive campaign saying no Flash and it wouldn't be in the App Store. You think? Yeah. Huh. Mm, I suppose. Anyway. Um, and uh, the other thing is... Jailbroken with what? Spirit? Spirit. Yeah, you can jailbreak it with Spirit. Uh, we have an episode on it if you go to our smart, our smart, our Too Smart site. TooSmartGuys.com. T-O-O, SmartGuys.com. You can go back uh, a few episodes if you click on the iPad section. It's the first, I think it's the first or second episode? It'll be the very second first episode. Second episode. spirit episode. Yeah, it? yeah, it's the second episode. And we'll show you how to do that. The only thing that's changed is you have to download the older version of um, iTunes 9.1 because 9.2 does not work with the, gel the spirit jailbreak. They've patched it. Yeah. Quite quickly. Yeah, they, they weren't... They didn't, they didn't like They weren't too happy about the one-click pack. <laughs> it was nice. It was super simple. Anyway, Spirit Jailbreak's a really easy jailbreak for the iPad. So. And the, the next thing you want to install is uh, inside Acidia is NetATalk, which we also did an episode on like a year and a half ago, but it's as simple as just browsing for that application in Cydia. It's NetATalk, and it allows you to trans... Um, see your the file system on the iPad from your computer so you can transfer files to it. So um, before, before we get to the actual segment segment, I'd just like to thank our sponsor, uh, GoToMeeting. Oh, GoToMeeting.com. Slash uh, podcast. Forward slash podcast. Forward slash podcast. Um, you can <laughs> get, I don't remember how, how long the deal is. Uh, I always mess this up. It's, it's a 30, 40, 45 day trial. 45 days trial. It's a great way that you can get everybody together to work on one subject. Uh, sharing the screen, uh, it's, it's the, the wonderful side of uh, a, a tele-meeting that you would have, but you would have it's, screen sharing, it's hard which to is explain. fantastic. It's hard to explain. Just give it a try yourself. Just go to the website. Yes. Uh, uh, go to meeting dot, forward slash podcast. Dot com slash podcast. All right. So back, back, back to business here. People say have been saying that we need to concentrate more on our content. So They have? Who's been saying I that? Know, just some guy on YouTube. <laughs> so quit begging and get to the content making. Well, then he needs to look at the other shows. Yeah. We don't beg enough as far as the other people are saying. <laughs> okay, so like I said, once you get your, your spirit, spirit jailbroken iPad, Bingo. You, you will need to um, log into it via NetAtox. So just browse to the IP address for your iPad and then enter in root and alpine. So the username's root, password alpine, and then uh, browse to the root share. And then inside of there, you'll go to var. And then root media. And you'll create a new folder called Cydia. And inside of that folder, You'll create another new folder called auto install. And then you will download the actual file that is the um, Frash. And you can download that from our show, twosmartguys.com website in the show notes. Just copy it in there, and then you just need to reboot, reboot your iPad two times. So turn it off, turn it back on twice. And you can just go to any website that requires Flash, and it'll show a big fat F. Click on it, and it'll load that piece of 
Flash. And in our case here, we've got StrongBad running. And I'm showing it off to Raggable here. It works really good with older Flash content and straight up Flash content. It doesn't currently work with video. And we were trying to play some games on it unsuccessfully. Still a little clunky. Yeah, the, I don't think everything's there that needs to be there. Uh, it was explained to me that uh, they no. ported this to the Android. Mm -hmm. So he ported it from the Android version to the iPad. I so I wonder if there's a version of Flash that it's running that if you're above version 7 or something like that that you can't. Yeah, I'm sure the results will be better if you're using an older version of Flash. So or stuff that's made for older versions of Flash. So if it's backwards compatible back to version like 5 or something, probably better off then. Probably. I just know that version 8, they changed a lot of stuff, so. Yeah. So um, that's it. It's real simple. Uh, <laughs> You just kind of need to move uh, some, create some directories and move a file over. And I like simple. Restart your iPad a couple times and then you'll have Flash running on it, which is pretty cool because um, we were told that it couldn't be done or it shouldn't be done. Or it wouldn't be allowed to be done. Uh, one thing that we did notice, though, is it kind of takes over on YouTube. So it doesn't load the, the MPEG-4 video files. Oh, OK. And it doesn't play the Flash ones, so you kind of lose your YouTube. Danger, Will Robinson, yeah. danger. You can go to the YouTube app, YouTube app on the iPhone, or iPad, and still use that, and that works. Can you switch it to CS, or not CS5, the uh, HTML5 version that they have, or does it lock you out of that? You know, that might work. That might work. Okay. That Because I know that you can, a lot of these websites now, you can flip into the HTML5, which I know is Steve Jobs' favorite. Anyways, this is, this is kind of a quick preview release. The guy says, actually, don't proof install of, it. Proof of concept. <laughs> yeah, it's a proof of concept. He's working on it. It'll, it'll, I'm sure someday it'll be much better, and it'll actually be just readily available in Cydia. You can probably just search for it, Frash. But uh, till, till then, this is how you do it if you wanted to give it a shot. Um, it's also easy to uninstall. After, after you get it installed, it's just a package in Cydia. You can click on it and go to uninstall. So if you don't like it, you can get rid of it. That's good. That's a nice. <clears throat> you don't want to have things inside there you don't can't get rid of. No, no. Um, and they've also shown it running on iPhones, but uh, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't. Um, Try at your own peril. <laughs> I can't speak for that. I can't vouch. For but we that. know that the iPad, which is probably the easier thing to uh, play with. Yeah, it's definitely got the processing power, and it's running an older version of the OS. I don't know if. The guy was really developing it for uh, the OS 4 because he's been working on it for actually a very long time. No it works. That's, that's great. That's it. Um, Zazzle. Zazzle, yes. Z uh, we need to talk about Zazzle because in Zazzle. your life, in my com. life, Zazzle is what it's about. And I don't know why people aren't taking me up on my offer, but I want a t-shirt. I'm going to make one just to make sure you buy it. Somebody needs to make a t-shirt. Do, Do I make any money if I make a t-shirt? Yeah, if you make if you make me a t-shirt and I buy it, you make money off of it. I'm making a t-shirt. So There's your incentive. <laughs> How do you make money right away from a show that has no money? You make a t-shirt and he'll buy it. I'm serious. Go to Zazzle.com. If, and if you do decide to buy it. Or, or anything. There's lots of stuff yeah, on there. You can buy I go other through things. browse. There's all sorts of funny things. Yeah, you can you can make your own stuff, and it's not just T-shirts. Stickers. Like stickers and. I'm gonna go through the bumper list because it's a huge list. Last time I looked, and yeah, I, and hoodies and all, all kinds of cool if stuff. If I can type it incorrectly, which is not. Use our code two smart guys, just like the title of the show T O O smart guys, and you'll save uh, ten percent on orders fifty dollars or more. You can't beat that, and yeah. you get ten percent off. I seriously want a shirt, so. If you make one, email me, pox at twosmartguys.com. But make sure it's witty and obscene. I don't want obscene. Exactly. <laughs> the more obscene, the better, because he has to buy it. No, but seriously, I want something I can wear when I'm live streaming, saying, you know, check, check us out. You're at twosmartguys.com slash live. What? I missed that whole thing. Two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're live at twosmartguys.com slash live. So people can go there and they can see themselves... Like when I was at line, in line for the iPhone. Uh, People at work constantly ask me, where is this at? Where are you streaming to? Got you. If I had a shirt so that basically said that, you said like, you know, live on, lo you know, you're now live on location. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and, yeah, I don't know if you want to do like a character of us or something. Or something cool. That'd be cool. Actually, it'd be funnier if you put a warning on the back that said, if you, if you can read this shirt, you're in danger of being videotaped. <laughs> 
basically it's your it's your mm -hmm. your, your yeah, uh, there what you go. It? That's a good the, idea. Um, what do they call that? <laughs> the 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 fair fair notice on the public street. <laughs> yeah, fair I notice. Like that. You've been warned that you could end I up like on the that. internet live, yeah. and it's on the T-shirt. That'd be cool. You know, I think it's been on both front and back though. I think I think you're right. I think I just found my T-shirt. Yeah. Zazzle.com. Or you know, or you could do a sticker that goes on the back of a phone saying, um, "I'm recording you," <laughs> or something. Smile pretty for the camera. Yeah. Um, and of course, uh, we got a new iPhone four, so we will be. Of course. We will be having shows on the iPhone four. Um, I know Railman said he was going to show us uh, some FaceTime. We were going to call him up, but he's not in a Wi-Fi area at the moment. So maybe next week. Real man does like his Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, check us out. TwoSmartGuys.com. Every Monday, new shows. Live taping of our shows every Wednesday. I, I, I would like to remind... I just want to tell everyone to guarantee that um, Pox is made. That I, I would like to see it happen, but I, I, I'm, I'm a little shallow on the faith right now. Every Monday, if you go into TOOSmartGuys.com, there should be a brand new show sitting there waiting for you. Now, if you're like me and lazy, I like the iTunes route. I, oh. just, I subscribe via iTunes, I turn on the iTunes and it downloads it automatically, and it's just there waiting for me. Yeah, just Which iTunes. makes me the lazy one, but I like it that way. Search for Two Smart Guys, deliver to you automatically. But every Monday, there'll be a new one. That's what he says. Yep, every Monday, new episode. I so but every Wednesday, if you want to catch, check, catch us live at 1030 Mountain, Yeah. You can catch Justin T Justin TV mm -hmm. forward slash two smart guys. Yeah, there's a lot of two smart guys in there. There's You'll a lot of two out. smart guys. Um, yeah, so the the, the live show uh, usually goes on for a couple hours, as opposed to the recorded show ends up being cut down to about uh, ten minutes to an half. Hour. Did you say our live show was two hours? I said, a couple, show, I said a couple hours. Our live show is usually like four and a half hours. Anyways, see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this has been a Two Smart Guys production.